Now, the former head of the governing body of World Athletics has been convicted of corruption in a Russian doping scandal. A court here in France found the 87-year-old Lamine Dia guilty of accepting bribes from athletes suspected of doping. Test results were covered up and the athletes were allowed to go on to compete. For more, we can bring in uh, France 24's Jean-Emile Jamin. Je Tell us more about this case. Well, Delano, uh, Dieck has been found guilty uh, for siphoning funds from Russian athletes uh, as hush money uh, preparing, well, leading up to the 2012 London Olympics. Uh, he's been sentenced to two years in prison. Uh, originally, prosecutors had demanded four years and a fine of 500,000 euros, uh, but that has now been reduced. Now, Dieck says he didn't, uh, he didn't, he delayed the, uh, uh, sorry, he delayed the, the money coming in, he'd, uh, as preparation uh, for the uh, yeah. for the Olympics, but um, this was not done illegally. That's what his that's what his defence has said, and uh, this was done so as to get broadcasting and sponsorship rights from Russian uh, companies who were looking to invest uh, or at least sponsor the IAAF Federation League coming in uh, to the 2012. Uh, now it appears that his, uh, his defence has uh, filed for appeal, mm. so it remains to be seen how long it will take until he does see any jail time. And is this the only corruption case against Mr. Dia? Uh, well, it's not uh, leading into also uh, the Rio Olympics as well as Tokyo Olympics. He has uh, he is facing other charges, and uh, previously during his tenure as IAAF uh, chief, he also uh, was found guilty for uh, using those same Russian funds to help uh, sponsor the presidential bid of uh, Senegal's president who remains in power today. Now, it's not only Mike Diak, Islam. yeah, mm. it's not only Diak, but his son, uh, Papa Musata Diak, who is currently in Senegal also, uh, and he has also been found guilty of uh, abetting and assisting in uh, this uh, corruption scandal. Uh, but Senegal is not looking to extradite him, so he won't be serving any of his jail sentence anytime soon either. And uh, the verdict passed down on him was a five-year jail sentence from the French court. Jean-Emile, thank you very much for that. Jean-Emile there from our sports desk.